Welcome to another ASC CPC training video. This video is a basic overview of CPC's different screens in a typical configuration. After launch, you'll be taken to the main screen. This screen acts as a portal to all other screens within CPC, as well as displaying current run and process information. Every screen can be accessed from this screen. First, log in to your CPC system by clicking the Security Login button. This activates CPC's permission-based login system that is configured when the equipment is commissioned. A login window will appear allowing you to select your username from a drop-down list. Then, enter your password and click Login. Once you have logged in, you will see that you are the logged-in user by looking at the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Each of the 12 yellow buttons on this screen will direct you to a new screen. We will review each screen in detail in subsequent CPC training videos. We'll begin with the Run Operations screen. The Run Operations button takes us to the screen that operators access most often. This screen provides a step-by-step -step process to start a run. You will also notice a Back button here. This button is used to return to the previous page. Utilizing this back button, you will always be able to return to the main screen. Next is the Manual Operations screen. The Manual Operations screen allows users to take manual control of a process. Pressure, temperature, and vacuum can all be set here manually if desired. Next is the Recipe screen. This is where recipes are created and loaded into the equipment. Moving on to the Reporting screen. This is home to CPC's powerful reporting engine. All historical run data and reports are located on this screen. Next is the support screen. This screen serves as a portal into the support features CPC offers. Security configuration, part databases, calibration, certification, and maintenance screens can all be accessed through this portal. Now we move into the general viewing screens. First up is the Trend View screen. This screen provides real-time information on run process in a graphical format. Next is the Sensor View screen. This screen details real-time individual thermocouple and vacuum probe values. It also shows real-time process variables as well as run information. Next is the Batch screen. This screen shows individual part information in addition to some of the components we have seen in other screens. This individual part information displays values for the high and low TCs, rates, and vacuum values per parts. Next up is the status screen. This screen provides an overview of all the subsystems that are running on the equipment and their current status. Next is the alarm screen. This screen details the historical record of alarms and messages for the current run if it is in progress or the last run completed. Last, we have the pictorial screen. This screen shows a graphical representation of the equipment hardware in progress. All values, motors, and process flow is indicated on this screen. That concludes the CPC overview. Thank you for watching.